we met in college at the University of Colorado in Boulder as freshmen in the dorms. We were all like right next to each other. And we ended up starting Savoy almost as like a rock band. We all play uh, instruments our whole lives and it was just guitar, bass and drums, just pretty raw. And uh, we started kind of adding synths to the live set. We auditioned a couple keyboardists, no one really fit, so we decided just to keep it us. And uh, even though we were doing rock music, it was always very dance driven. So we started adding bass synth and, uh, and I would play some pads and Mike started implementing some electronic drums. And over, uh, you know, messing around with that stuff, we just kind of got more and more into the electronic side of things. And uh, and we moved on to, you know, full on live live electronic sets with uh, Gray and I on DJs and laptops. And Mike's still doing the uh, live drum thing with uh, electronic samplers involved as well. And we really take pride in the fact that we're, we've been musicians our whole lives. We really think that it shines through in our production because Gray especially is super melody driven. And, and it's really cool to, to have those musical backgrounds in, in, infused into the uh, pure electronic world. We had seen the same company at a different concert and just absolutely loved it. Then we were hired for one show at college. They had hired uh, the, the laser company to do it and we were super excited. And then once that happened, we got in touch with the guy. And then the first few shows that we did with them were with Eliav and we just fell right into a groove with him. And, you know, he's all about it, being part of the team and stuff. And he loves working with us and we love working with him. And it's gotten to the point where he knows all of our songs really well and he's really like a creative force at the concerts. I mean, if you watch him up there, he's just going nuts, like completely dialed in the whole time. It's really, it's a really cool thing. Yeah, this tour has really been awesome because I think we've even glued a lot more over this tour. Like he's, you know, each show is almost like somewhat of a practice for all of us to just keep making it tighter and tighter. And um, I think at this point right now, it's it's probably the best it's been. It's getting, it's getting really tight, locked in with him. It's actually one of my buddies from high school and throughout high school he always you know he would pass me a note in class of some graphic comic that he made right there in front of the teacher and it would just blow my mind I mean, this guy is just a creative genius when it comes to all forms of visual art I mean he's a sculptor he's a painter he's a graphic designer he's and I mean he's a beautiful with a pencil and pen and so uh, for the longest time we were kind of lost in the sea of like different artistic designers and kind of going through and finally I don't know what the hell happened but I remembered about my buddy who was the man and I hit him up and ever since then he's just been cranking for us and he's taking control and he's doing kind of everything we are trying to create a story um, I can't tell you where that's going yet but like each album release and each kind of piece of artwork that we put out because we really I mean it's more than an album cover it's really a piece of art and we're going to kind of try to take the fans through a, a voyage of this alternative universe we're starting to cultivate so you can definitely expect you know each release to tell a bit more of the story yeah we're just trying to integrate and everything you know one day will be a, a whole you know maybe a movie like playing behind us that's just perfectly cut to every song that tells the story of our journey Then when we get home, I mean, it's it's time to start cranking again. I mean, we're, we're really excited. I think this tour has inspired us to create, you know, even better music. I mean, these, these songs are awesome, but, you know, we've been playing them a lot, and we just want to keep making stuff better and better. I mean, it's always evolving. Um, I mean, I think every album or EP that we make, we're closer and closer to the ultimate, which is still on describe, but we all kind of, like, know that it's there and, and every EP is just closer and closer to doing it and we're always trying to incorporate more live elements like whether it's horns or strings or you know even like recording live drums um, you know everything is just becoming more and more natural sounding but still has that like really crazy like underlying you know synth bass and all you know really unique synth yeah yeah I just wanted to add one thing like for this tour specifically like how you asked about these venues it's actually something that we did that uh, you know we're pretty stoked about. This whole tour, uh, we probably played like 30 dates. We did one nightclub. Every single date's been in a rock venue, and that just is kind of a testament to like what we're all about and how we're trying to build. Because we've DJed thousands of nightclubs and like the bottle service thing, and it's fun and you know. Mad props to all those guys that are killing it out there doing that. But we're really trying to take our, our thing, and as far as the live set goes, into a rock venue type of vibe. So a place like this, like the Troubadour, is, is really cool for that. It's, I mean, it's perfect. You know, people don't see this type of music here. And, you know, the sound guy just told me, he's like, yeah, we really don't normally do this. So for us and for the fans, I think it's kind of a unique experience, and, and it kind of can project where we're trying to go. Instead of, like, the nightclubs and getting bigger and bigger slots and, you know, things like that, it, it's more about, like, let's play epic, historic venues that have, you know, stood the test of time and, and brought bands of all genres through the ranks, you know. 
it's dope, man. I mean, it's a different scene, like definitely different than LA. LA is sick. Tons of our producer buddies live out here. The electronic scene, massive out here. Brooklyn's kind of got a completely different attitude. Like there's guys out there making electronic, you know, it's always kind of a little more indie based. Like some of our better friends out there have been like the Knox who are coming up right now. We love those guys and they're kind of straight disco. Uh, and then like Treasure Fingers was out there for a while. You know, people like that or, you know, A-Track is out there. All these guys that kind of have more of an indie vibe. And, and it's cool for us to be a part of that and just observe. And, you know, we really chose Brooklyn as a spot to live to get different outside influences other than dance music. And so that indie rock vibe there is something that we treasure and it's really cool. Yeah, and, and then just the last thing, man, like, you know, grab all our music. We give it out for free. You go to our website, SavoyBand.com. You can download our last two EPs. It's 11 tracks of just pure free music. And it's, you know, we don't sacrifice quality for the price. Like, it's, it's up there, you know, with our best work. And we're pleased to give it out to our fans for free. We just hope that these guys, you know, come out and see us live and, and let us really put on the show for you. <laughs>